Hi, my name's Mike, and if you've got a bit of a hangover or you just really fancy a nice treat, a bit of a brunch, this is the recipe for you. This is Eggs Benedict. I'm going to show you how to make all the different things. I'm going to show you how to poach the eggs and also how to make the sauce from scratch, the hollandaise sauce. Here's how it's made. So looking at the ingredients, here we have on this side the hollandaise sauce. So I've got two egg yolks, I've got 100 grams of butter, and I've got some white wine vinegar and some lime juice. You really should just use lemon juice, but I'm going to use lime juice today, just for a bit of fun. And I've got two eggs in a bowl, that's for the poaching the eggs. And then I've also got uh, an English muffin and a slice of ham. And this will make enough for one person to eat. Um, the hollandaise sauce is quite a big batch, so that will serve quite a few people. So to start making the hollandaise sauce, I've got my two egg yolks, and I'm just going to beat them with an electric whisk until they're slightly lighter in colour. So there we have that. And I've measured a tablespoon of white wine vinegar and a tablespoon of lime juice, or you can use, use lemon juice, into a saucepan. It doesn't look very much, but um, I'm just going to put it on heat until it bubbles. And this won't take long at all because it just literally needs to bubble and there's so little liquid in there, you've got to watch it like all, otherwise it will burn or certainly evaporate very quickly. So for this next step, I'm going to keep the electric whisk on very high and I'm gradually going to put um, the vinegar and uh, lime juice mixture in very slowly, drop by drop. You mustn't add it all at once because then it might split. So there we have it. It doesn't look much at this stage. But in the same pan where we had the vinegar and the lime juice, I'm going to put in my butter, this is 100 grams, and you want to melt it on the hob until it's bubbling but make sure it doesn't burn. So if you just take a look at the butter here, as you can see it's starting to melt and bubble away, and as soon as the butter has completely melted, that's when I'll take it back and add it to the rest of the sauce. So the butter is nice and bubbly, so I take it off the heat, and exactly as I just did before, I'm gonna add it really, really gradually on full speed on the electric whisk and just literally drop by drop, otherwise it will curdle. So there we have it, all the butter has been um, combined inside, and that is hollandaise sauce. So we've got our eggs here, let's take them over and get them poached. So I've got a pan of boiling water here, and I'm going to take the lid off and put the eggs in. I've put the eggs into two separate bowls, it just makes it easier than cracking them over boiling water. And just drop them in, there's one, and I'm going to make a swirling action with the spatula, a bit of a tornado. And now I'm going to put the other one in. And these eggs are quite clever because they seem to know which, which bit of white goes with which bit of yolk. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of a mix and then put the lid back on. So you want to bring it to the boil and then leave it for a couple of minutes, just enough till the egg cooks. It depends on your preference. You might want a really runny yolk or you might want a hard yolk. So you've just got to time it in terms of that. Just look at the eggs through the water and see what stage they're at. And I think we're done. So we've got all the ingredients ready to go and now I'm going to assemble them. So I've toasted a muffin, obviously I split it in half first, that's there. And the next thing that needs to go on is the ham. I've got two slices of ham here and you can just put them on as they are. But if you want a really neat finish, you can use a cutter and make them perfectly round so that they just sit on like that. So there we go, and then after that I'm going to put my poached eggs straight on top. Make sure you drain the water off them, otherwise they will make it all a bit soggy underneath. There we have our poached eggs, and then this is hollandaise sauce which I've made, and 
just going to pour that on top. Really, you can have as much as you like, really. But I think you need to really drizzle them. There we go. And it's as simple as that. My name's Mike, and you've been watching me make Eggs Benedict from scratch. I do hope you'll try it at home. And please leave comments or maybe some questions below if you have them. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more recipes from me. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.